Hello everyone and welcome back to my JNSQ series in Kerbal Space Program 1.7.3 and in this episode I aim to rescue some Kerbals because otherwise I don't have that many Kerbals. I especially want to rescue pilots but you can't really pick that uh, so otherwise we'd have to pay 103,000 to hire one and yeah that's expensive. So we've got Jebmor in orbit of Kerbin. The fact that Jebmor is basically named after Jeb makes me hope that Jebmor is a pilot. So we'll pick that up and song guard. Uh, also, I thought about doing both of them at the same time, but I think maybe we shouldn't put all our Kerbals in one basket. So uh, we'll do them one at a time. And I've already constructed a rocket. It's just an adaptation of the rocket that attempted to launch Val, but with many modifications. So hopefully those will help out. So. Uh, somebody in the comments noted that there were RCS packs that had mod propellant in and so yes I unlocked this Prometheus one from Blue Dog and so now we have these as a maneuvering system, backup system and such things like that attached to the pod. Um, obviously this is still the one Kerbal pod and so we are not sending it up crude so we have a probe core here which will hopefully work out and parachute. I have created a little service module now that we unlocked the Oscar B tank. Technically, I could have already used this Bell 70 without the Oscar B, and that would fit this uh, pretty well with these decouplers. Um, but I decided to go with uh, the Oscar B uh, to save on a little bit of mass. Uh, it'll make it easier for the rest of the rocket. And uh, we're using two ant engines, of course, we needed those. And uh, still carrying the 30 days worth of supplies because. Uh, we're going to use this as an opportunity to test the rocket for that purpose as well, to fulfill that contract. I, I believe the put a Kerbal in orbit for 30 days requires that we launch the Kerbal, but I'm not 100% sure. If it turns out that it starts counting in 30 days and it's clear that it's counting in 30 days after we do the rescue, I'll just go with that. And we'll just leave that Kerbal up there for 30 days. The rest of the rockets, um, we're still keeping the same Decker stage. Uh, though, of course, I bumped the engine quality to high, but we rebuilt the rest of the Atlas stage using just the regular Bossert tanks instead of the Atlas-looking ones, and, of course, put the Merlin 1Bs at the bottom with high engine quality. And I made sure we could get the launch clamps on. In fact, the service module originally had four ant engines, but that went over our part limit, which is still at 30. So, I've called it Matlas 2. I don't even remember if there was a Matlas 1. Um, a Matlas because of the Merlins, and it's still sort of like an Atlas. So we didn't have a Matlas 1. Um, okay, yeah. Well, anyway, it's Matlas 2. We'll just pretend. So, no Kerbal in. And we'll go for uh, Jebmore first. Is it Jebmore or Jebcast? Whatever. On we go. Oh, I'll have to fix staging down there. And let me just double check the yep thrust weight ratio at sea level is fine. So what we want is well, Song Guard is right behind us. Jeb Moore is there. They're both at the usual equatorial easy orbits, so that's not a problem. Uh, there are other problems that might occur. We'll see. I'm I have to be worried about sinking, for one thing. And other things. All right, so uh, throttle is up, SAS is on, and ignition. Looks good. Launch. I did not add a launch escape system yet, so no SRBs. I was thinking of it, but uh, there's the part count thing. And it was either the SRBs or the RCS, so I went with the RCS for now. Okay, very nominal launch so far. We should be through max Q. We should throttle down. Let's say to two Gs. I have not added in stage recovery or... Um, Whatever, the other mod. Oh yes, uh, Kerbal Reusability Expansion. Um, we'll hold off on that. We'll hold off on making things easier for now. We'll keep things hard. So this stage should be able to get us to orbit. That was the intention. With some margin.
Um, I suppose we'll go into a higher orbit and then rendezvous with uh, Jeb Moore. It's tough to get into a lower orbit than them. They're pretty low already. It occurs to me I should have probably slapped some more antennae. I don't think uh, the internal comms are going to be able to reach our commsats. Well, let's hope it just keeps on until we get to orbit. Well, even if it doesn't, uh, if it expends this stage, we will get into orbit, so that's okay. Of course, adding antennae would mean more part count, so... Well, we would probably take off the RCS thrusters for that. Okay, making orbit... And that should be a good enough shutdown. All right. Um, we have 200 left in the stage. That's good. Separation. Whoop. They're coming right at us. Okay, it's recharging. Again, I'm worried about comms. We'll aim to rendezvous at this end. And we're high up on that end. Gonna see about a maneuver here at Apoapsis since we do have comms. And I want to target Jebmore's Hulk and maneuver down here. That we may or may not get to do depending on comms, but um, that'll get us closer. Uh, that'll be an optional maneuver. If we don't do that maneuver, there's still we're still okay actually. All right, so let's do this. A uh, node. Okay, testing the ant engines. And okay, that maneuver is done. Okay, uh, I'll do the maneuver right now. Okay, and what does that get us? Well, we have to pass the node location first. Okay, um, 5.2. Maybe I can do a little puff. Let's test the RCS. Um, RCS on. Okay. And the reason I wanted to do with RCS is because this way, if I have the engine on when we lose communication, it won't matter. But it looks like communication lines are good right now. But will they be when we actually get there? That I don't know. But that might not matter. Uh, at a distance of 0.4 kilometers, we could EVA the Kerbal. But that's a high relative speed, 40 meters per second, and I don't want to find out whether Kerbalism has nerfed the EVA packs or not. I know you need EVA propellant, so... Well, we might not have signal over the rendezvous point, but we'll regain it soon after, so we'll just wait. We shouldn't have that, we shouldn't drift off that much, I think. No, we got signal. Okay, well, we'll take advantage of that. Target relative velocity. We are in render range. No more electric charge. Oh, life support systems are off. Um, I hope... This is, Kerbalism always does this, but I'm hoping that it fixes itself. Okay, uh, batteries recharged again. Tell me there's food. Okay, yes, okay. Jeez. I hate when it does that. And the rest of RCS. That way if we lose communication again, it won't be as much of a problem. Cloud's looking like a painting right now. This will actually be our first EVA report. Oh, we have no backward facing thrusters. Okay, sidestep, sidestep. That's one flaw with this thruster arrangement. Okay, other pod. If you have more, you're gonna have to go from here. Uh, I guess it just uses mod propellant for the EVA packs. And Jebmore is a pilot as one would expect from somebody named after Jeb. Okay, catch up to that pod. Okay, 
board. All right, Jeb Moore is in. Okay, now what about that 30 day contract? Now, I mean, it's not counting down, so I'm gonna assume that this doesn't count, which is fair enough. We will still have tested the pod and everything. Okay. We should probably put some shielding on it too for that particular mission. And we've got the margins and everything. We've got 200 left on the launcher stage. All right, so let's say we wanted to get back down to the KSC specifically, or at least that landmass, that strip there. Where should we retroburn and by how much? I'm gonna use this peninsula as a reference and do something opposite of it. We're pretty low down. I mean, we're only at 95 kilometers on average. So it shouldn't take a whole lot. So I'm gonna go orbit retrograde. Didn't really need to do that with the RCS, but... Um, and then we're going to go with a 35 kilometer periapsis. Maybe 30, let's go 32. Either way, it would definitely bring us down. Okay, that's 32. And we are going to take off RCS, go normal. Um, check our life support in here, that's fine. Separate off the... wait, uh, yeah, everything's good. We've got the solar panels on here. And separate off the service module. Arm the parachute. Well, just check that the parachute's okay. We can manually do it. We'll have control, I assume. Okay, retrograde. Proper camera. Okay, we have hit the atmosphere. I'm gonna go surface retro. Uh, we mostly have land in front of us. As long as we get down by the time we get to the KSC. So this mod propellant isn't going to be good for docking because there are no forward-facing thrusters. We could add some, but that'll be more part count too. Uh, probably two more would be necessary. I'm thinking of docking, of course. Okay, we're getting into some heat and I don't want to mess things up. Um... I mean, there's little lakes and all, but more or less, we're on track for land. A shallow re-entry probably results in more ablator loss. So we're gonna lose a fair bit of that. Please don't let us hit that little bit of water. I mean, come on. We're still going very fast, though. We're losing a lot of ablator. This is clearly not a lunar rated heat shield, whatever this is. So now we'll have Jeb and Jebmore. Hmm. Okay. We've gotten through it. Uh, pretty high elevation for the ground, apparently. Gotta start dumping mod propellant. Oh, I didn't have Jeb do an e uh, Jeb Moore do an EVA report. Gosh darn it! I was so in such a rush to get him back in. <laughs> the heat shield exploded. Poor heat shield. Okay. Um, well, I've got a new. Oh, why is it trying to use the RCS? Don't do that. Um, we've got a new report that's being gathered right now. Guess we might as well get it. I mean, how often are we going? Well, we might visit this location fairly often, actually. Okay, EVA. Wow, he, does, he doesn't look like he would fit in this pod at all. <laughs> uh, surface sample, sure. And how about an EVA report as well? Okay, we got those. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but all right. So that's all good. Recover vessel. Seems like, like a successful recovery vessel, doesn't it? And... Oh, we've got this little dialogue here. And we are back to having two pilots. 
And Jetmore got quite a lot of ribbons too. Oh, uh, like, yeah, he did the orbital EVA even though he didn't get science for it. Alright. So next up, let's rescue another Kerbal. Okay, so here we go again. I thought about doing the 30-day mission in between the two rescue missions because I generally don't like doing the same thing back to back. But I'd rather get one more test of this thing in before we decide to do the 30-day mission. So, throttle up and launch. And launch. Sorry, ignition and then launch in this case. We're back to the realism overhaul pattern. Of course, we're still under communication constraints, but um, I think the basic plan of action last time will work again this time. I will not, however, throttle down this time just to make sure that we complete the orbital burn while we still have communication. And separation. We have a good second stage. So we're taking full advantage of the extra Delta V we had to do a somewhat inefficient thing that nevertheless helps with line of sight back to the Space Center. And that's nearly perfect. That's basically what I wanted. Uh, the low periapsis, high apoapsis, maintained line of sight, and separation. Okay, oh, we don't need this. We don't need that. We don't need that. Okay. Mm, well, the periapsis went up a bit, but we're still okay. Sang song guards, derelict. It's there. We could do a quick re uh, retrograde puff of the RCS to make sure that we only have one tangency point. Okay, after a long time warp, we should end up meeting up with the target on the next go-round, but we've lost communication temporarily. That'll certainly be good enough. 0.2 kilometers, safe periapsis. No problems. 56 meter per second relative speed. And we have 431 left. This little pod is doing well. Okay, we're probably going to lose communication right over the island runway as usual. So I'm going to burn off most of the speed with respect to our target right now while we still have communication through the KSC. And then we'll handle the rest when we regain communication. Most but not all, otherwise we're going to be drifting away. Okay, 4.6 kilometers I'll take. We need to meet up before we lose communication, so we're going to go fast. But we have the Delta V in this service module. We found Song Ackerman is going to tell me he doesn't have any stuff flying again. Want to approach at a uh, no destruction speed. That is, if we bump into it, we will not explode. Okay, we've lost communication. We'll see. Again, we tried to go at a speed that would not result in any sort of destruction. Okay, we are parking. Um. The crew hatch seems to be on this side. I don't know which way our Kerbal wants it. Okay. Songguard is an engineer. Can't exit module has no hatch? Guys. What? Don't. Don't put Kerbals to be rescued in modules that don't have hatches? That is so mean of the contract. That is mean. I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't have the claw yet. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. I guess we'll just bring our pod back. I'm trying to think if I'm missing some opportunity here, but I don't think so. Nope, I don't I don't see a way to save the Kerbal. Uh, so we should arm the parachute now. 
because we're bound to not have communication when we bring this back. And we'll try a similar trajectory to last time. So it was opposite that thing, which is where we're at right now, and 32 kilometer periapsis, but we are not in communication yet. Oh, it took a little bit longer to start to retro burn this time, so I'm gonna bring it down to 30 kilometers. Well, then again, we did end up a little bit short last time. Okay. Let's see, where are we now? Oh, much further along than the Space Center. Well, I guess the delay in starting to retro burn had its effect, and... We still can't decouple the heat shield, <laughs> so I guess this is gonna start sinking as soon as we hit the surface. Okay, we'll try and recover as soon as it hits the surface. Well, that works. <laughs> I don't know whether it would have sunk or not, but might as well not find out. Well, we got the funds back, but... Um, well, Songard is still up there, apparently, even though he lost power. Don't know how long Songard has, but... Basically, the only option would be to have a claw and a heat shield go up there to meet him. And then, of course, uh, with a controller and some propellant, and then bring him back down. Um, where do we get the claw? Uh, here, in actuators at uh, 160. I think he's probably going to be done for by then. If it turns out he's still alive by the time we accidentally get up here, then uh, maybe I'll do it. But for now, let's focus on the 30-day Kerbal in Orbit for 30 days mission. Okay, well, here we go. We're putting Jebmore in. And, well, stress-wise, 99 days, it says. Despite the rather small living space, we'll see if it's good enough. We'll monitor Jebmore. And hopefully things will work out. As far as re-entry is concerned, we've got two different systems that can do re-entry. We have the ant engines and we have the RCS. Both could manage it. So if it turns out that one fails, we can use the other. We're not anticipating any any other complications. Two independent reaction wheels, the one in the pod and the one in the probe core. So that's good. And we've got enough supplies. All right, well, we'll see how it goes. It says it's pressurized and everything, so it's okay. Let's hope for the best. Oh, I did put uh, full shielding on the pod this time. So we're, we've got full shielding for the month-long thing. The only thing is the power supply, we'll have to see about that. Whether these solar batteries are going to be enough. All right, thrall up, SAS is on, and ignition, and launch. This time we don't have to worry about line of sight with communications or anything. Jeb Moore, I guess, will be doing the EVAs. Does Jeb Moore look confident to you? I think he looks confident. We're gonna certainly not want this to tell us about signal. That hardly matters, so I'm gonna turn that off, but battery is important. Separation and ignition. So, um... Well, apparently we can have a telemetry report, so we'll run that. Crew report seems to already have all the info. It's using up all the space in the pod instead of this first and then it uses this for overflow. Okay. I guess that's fair enough. Transmission is probably pretty slow. Or not at all, I don't know. It might not be transmitting at all. We will have to work on comms with this thing. Possibly in conjunction with upsizing the service module to the other tank. Okay, we'll leave this stage suborbital. And we'll use the 
service module to finish orbit. Okay, we're at 97 by 91. And we are in orbit. It doesn't really tell me that it's counting stuff. So I don't know for sure. And it doesn't seem to be transmitting anything of that data. Um, well, that's alright. We can recover it, I guess. Get more... I guess we can't really get a whole lot of EVAs with... Uh... Wait, surface sample? Uh, yeah, we can't do a surface sample here. Oh, the data is not that big for the EVA report. That's good. I was worried that we just didn't have enough room in the system to carry the CVA report, which would be bad. But it doesn't look like we can do a whole lot of EVA reports. It also doesn't seem like the EVA reports depend on the surface biomes, because it's running and it would have changed a few times by now if it did. Okay, there we are waiting. So apparently there's only one to be done. Okay, we transferred that data. Alright, so we're basically holding all the data. And I think we've done all we can, so no more experiments for Jebmore to do. Jebmore does look excited, considering he's going to be sticking around out here for an extended period of time. Uh, well, I can't really time warp here for 30 days, so we're going to keep an eye on it in the tracking station and hope we get notified about any problems. Hold on. Let's make sure about recharge rate. Um, well, it's recharging. It is recharging. Let's do one orbit to make sure it fully recharges after the nighttime side. Okay, we lost uh, 62 electric charge and we're regaining it. Let's make sure that we regain all the way up to 200. I don't know, I don't think it will. I don't think it's recharging fast enough. Okay, we're gonna bring Jeb Moore back. I don't think he's gonna recharge enough. I guess we'll try and send Jeb up next, though. That might be tempting fate. Okay, that seems opposite that peninsula that I was looking at. Orbit retrograde. Okay, very good. Normal. Check the pod for supplies. Supplies are fine. Okay. Service module separation. I'm gonna start dumping the mod propellant now. But that might make us too steep. Shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Uh, we might end up in water. It was looking good for land until we got to this part. So... Longard is burning alive. Oh dear. Should have found a way to claw himself out through the hull or something. I don't know. Should we have him parasail or not? I don't know. We sort of tested the whole premise of Um, recovering as soon as we could, but... What if it doesn't buy into that? Okay, now we'll uh, use the thrusters. The heat shield is not separable, so... That is not an option. Getting ready. Recover! I think we got it. We got it. Okay, and we got some science, of course. Um, but now, once more, with more solar panels. And I guess we'll let Jeb go. Okay, here we go with Jeb. And this time, I've made a few changes. First of all, in order to accommodate the part count, which is still at 30, um, we reduced the number of RCS packs at the top. And we uh, also reduce the number of solar panels at the top because it would be difficult to place it otherwise. So we only have one there. 
And then we have four solar panels on the service module that are extendable and very, very powerful. But uh, yep, so we will see how that goes for us. I don't know whether the 20 mile propellant in the little pods are going to be enough to retro the thing. We'll keep in a low orbit. It should be good enough. That's only if the ant engines fail, of course. All right, so throttle up, SAS is on, and ignition, and launch. Can Jeb do it? Stay in space for 30 days. There's still the issue of stress. We didn't really test that out. Okay, separation and ignition. Not quite a hot staging, but pretty hot nonetheless. Oh, I went too far. Heck. We'll adjust using the service module. Alright. Separation. Let's get the solar panels out. We'll have to be butt end to the sun, but I guess that's alright. That, that, that would actually be better for radiation because the heat shield is also in the way. Okay. So that is our thing. Okay, that's a pretty tight orbit. And uh, orientation is fairly simple. Now if we could get a sun-fixed orbit, that'd be nice. I mean sun-fixed orientation. During time warp, I mean. Anyway, let's check that uh, batteries do recharge now when we're out of the nighttime side. So nighttime side. I just wanted to find out whether there was uh, more science to be done. I don't think so. Um, I guess temporary EB report. Let's see. Um, nope. All six of those are already in. So we don't get all the little EB reports, but I guess that's for the best. Oh, I guess the nitrogen went down because of the EVA. Gotta watch out for that. All right, the battery's recharged pretty easily. Song guard burned alive. Not my fault, okay? Anyway, we're gonna go to the tracking station and wait the 30 days. Or as many of them as we can. Okay, so what we're really, really interested in with Matlas 2 is... Jeb's well-being. Okay, day 118. 1% stress after a day. Uh, there's a coronal mass ejection. We'll keep an eye on Jeb's radiation. We did put maximum sh uh, uh, radiation shielding, so... Daily coronal mass ejection. I hope Jeb doesn't start wrecking stuff when he gets too stressed. I think I turned that on, though. Sure hope it's counting this for the contract. Doesn't give me any indication of it. Solar storm in progress. After 12 days, he's at 17% stress. We've passed the halfway mark. Still 0% radiation. Okay. Um, well, there's a yellow marker on the brain icon for Jeb there. So we're starting to get bad signs for Jeb. 34% stress. Um, reaction wheel failed on Needsat 2 probe. It's gone for good. One more day. Food reserves are getting low. Well, that's as planned. Okay, I think we fulfilled it. Yes, put a Kerbal in orbit for 30 days. Fulfilled. Okay, let's bring him back. <laughs> Uh, he's not gonna like us, but... So, where's the KSC? KSC is here. And then Silla's there. So we're pretty close to the retro point. We're also on the right end of our orbit, meaning the apoapsis end, which is a little bit higher. That's good. Okay, ignition. Okay, that's good. Hopefully.
Okay, I would like to top off the food, water, and oxygen inside the pod. Really should drain that last. I should make sure of that. But let's see. We Oh, we can't transfer in. Okay, well, he's not going to have a whole lot of that after we separate, but he should have enough. Okay, service module separation. Food reserves are stored. No, that's backwards, but whatever. It only goes by percentages, not by the absolute value. Okay, we've got some heating. Service module is exploding. I think at least we'll get to ground this time. Maybe. Depends how far our velocity carries us, I suppose. Really doesn't slow down very much. I mean, the drag is just so minimal, it's amazing. And the ablator loss, I mean, we'll see about moon returns. We'll have to do a mass simulator before we send a Kerbal with a pod. But we'll definitely need to test the heat shields to make sure they can put up with that kind of return. Okay, hopefully this leads us to land and not water. Well, I think we're gonna have to cancel the Songard contract. It should have already indicated that that was a failure because he's dead, but we'll see the repercussions of failing that contract, I don't know. Okay, parachute. RCS dump. Okay, parachute has fully deployed, bringing us to 5.5-ish meters per second. Ah, uh, there's a telemetry report option here available. And a crew report. I don't know if we'll get those done in time. Well, the telemetry we got. Crew report might take too long. Okay. I probably shouldn't have had time warp there, but all right. All right, recover vessel. And there you have it, the revitalization of our crewed space program. Of course, our probe program was doing all right. But after the loss of Val, we hit a snag and now we have recovered. So Jeb had th has three more ribbons, orbital EVA, EVA Mach 4. I'm surprised, oh, horizontally below 30 kilometers, I see. I'm going like he certainly exceeded Mach 4 at some point. But anyway, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.